This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kathy Huey. Coming up, there has been a spike in LAPD shootings over the last couple weeks. Reporter Frank Stoltz dives into this unusual and troubling increase. It's Tuesday, March 30th. The LAPD shot and killed a man early Monday morning, marking the seventh shooting in 14 days by officers. For a closer look at the spike in shootings, we turn to KPCC's criminal justice correspondent, Frank Stoltz. So Frank, what do we know about this latest shooting? Well, the LAPD says officers tried to stop a man who was walking along 8th Street near the 110 freeway downtown. The department has not said why they tried to stop him, but it said he ran. About a block away, the man allegedly produced a gun and officers opened fire. Now, produced a handgun is obviously vague. The department often uses that language in the early stages of an investigation. The man has not been identified. There has been an LAPD shooting every other day over this past two week period. What are we to make of this? Well, Chief Moore has acknowledged this is unusual, but also said each shooting must be evaluated individually. He noted the LAPD has lowered the number of shootings thanks to improved de-escalation training and greater use of less than lethal weapons. Moore said there were 27 and 26 shootings over the last two years, the fewest in 30 years. Black Lives Matter leader Melina Abdullah said the spike is evidence of a department run amok and repeated her call for Moore to resign. Cliff Smith of the Coalition for Community Control of the Police said some of the shootings could be legit, but the department has lost so much credibility, it's hard to believe they are. Both renewed calls for independent investigations of LAPD shootings. All but one of these officers did have body cams. 